Hey everybody, this is example number two for structural dynamics of damp free vibrations. The problem statement that we have is we have uh, the critically damp spring mass system shown in the figure below has the following properties. It has a weight, the weight of the mass is equal to 10 pounds, the uh, stiffness of the spring is equal to 20 pounds per inch, and the initial displacement is 2 inches. The initial displacement of this mass is 2 inches. The initial velocity is equal to zero inches per second. And we need to determine the damping coefficient for the system and the mass displacement after 0.1 and 0.3 seconds. So here's our uh, spring mass system. And so the spring stiffness is 20 pounds per inch. The weight of this mass is equal to 10 pounds. And, and this weight this mass is released, uh, it's uh, removed from the equilibrium position. Uh, it has a, it's given a displacement, initial displacement of two inches, and then it's held there, held there and then suddenly released with zero initial velocity. So we need to find the damping coefficient and the displacement of this mass after 0.1 and 0.3 seconds. Before we proceed to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. Here is their website, Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our problem, the first thing we will do is calculate the mass. And mass is simply equal to the weight divided by the gravitational acceleration. So 10 pounds divided by 386.4 inches per second squared. So our mass is equal to 0 0.0259 pounds second squared per inch. Next, we're going to calculate the undamped natural circular frequency. And that's equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by the mass. So our undamped natural circular frequency omega is equal to 27.79 radians per second. Then. Uh, we can calculate the damping coefficient with this information. And so, as we mentioned in the problem statement, this system is critically damp. So that means that zeta, uh, zeta, which is equal to the damping coefficient divided by the critical damping constant, is equal to 1. So, the critical, uh, since this is equal to 1, we can say that C, the, the damping coefficient C, equals a critical damping constant, C sub C. And so the critical damping constant equals 2 times mass times omega. So we can easily calculate the damping coefficient. It's going to be equal to 2 times the mass times omega, the undamped circular natural frequency. So our damping coefficient is equal to 1.4395 pounds second per inch. Now to calculate the displacement of the mass, we have to take a look at the, at the displacement expression. So for a, critically, for a critically damp system, so for a critically damp system, this is the expression for the displacement. The displacement, the displacement of the mass can be represented by this equation. It's equal to A times E, which is a mathematical constant, to the power of negative omega times T plus B times T, T and T in this case is time, times E, the mathematical constant, to the power of negative omega T. 
So we have to solve for A and B using the boundary conditions that we have, the initial conditions that we have. And I also wrote down the derivative of this expression because that's going to give us the velocity. So here's the derivative. The velocity is given by this expression. So we need to solve for A and B. So let's take the initial displacement uh, condition first. So we know that at time equals zero, the initial displacement is equal to two inches. So we just plug in zero into the displacement expression and solve for A. And so we find that A equals two. Now we can solve for, uh, now we need to also solve for B. So we know that the velocity is zero at time equals zero. So we just plug in T equals zero in the velocity, in this velocity function. And then we can solve for B. So zero equals negative A times omega plus B. So B equals A times omega. And we know that A equals, we know that A equals two. So two times omega, so it's 55.58. B equals 55.58. So this is our complete uh, displacement expression, two times e to the power of negative omega t plus 55.58 times t times e to the power of negative omega t. And now we can calculate the displacement. And so I just rewrote this displacement equation. It's the same equation, I just, I just moved the e to the power of negative omega t to the outside and then 2 plus 55.58 times t inside the parentheses. So now we need to find the displacement after 0.1 seconds. So we just plug in 0 0.1 for t, and we solve for the displacement. And the displacement after 0 0.1 seconds is equal to 0.469 inches. And we can do the same thing, but now for 0 0.3 seconds. And so the displacement after 0 0.3 seconds is equal to 0 0.0045 inches. So this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineering examples. And please also uh, visit the website. It's engineeringexamples.net. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.